the whole thing wobbing. is going on guys it is Zerxum today with another youtube new today we have the new legend kellen winslow now surprisingly there's actually only one new legend i thought there was gonna be two but unfortunately we only have kellen winslow in the game oh no i actually we do have mike singletary forgot that we also got his twitch on so we have mike singletary and Kellen Winslow, for some reason I looked right over this Mike Singletary, but you're going to want to try to get the 90 overall card, which is actually what everyone is using. If you guys didn't realize this, the Twitch Prime is actually just the highest card in these sets for these Mike Singletary. So if you're using the 90 overall Mike Singletary or whatever, then it might be a good idea to try and upgrade and get this 92 if you like the 90 because the 92 is just going to be a little bit better. We also have a new six elite pack bundle in the store and it's of course just like it was last week it's not very good i did open it and it wasn't very good at all we also have just the regular elite packs but they also brought back the legends fantasy packs and these things are looking absolutely glitchy we're gonna go ahead and open up four of these so six thousand points worth make sure to smash that like button right now let's see if we can get this video to let's say for 200 likes round number one now i'm pretty sure we get just silvers i'm gonna take it pretty slow though see if we can pull ourselves something good and we do actually get a gold right there that's actually really good just for round number one i don't think it's even possible to get an elite so we're going to take the Cowboy and one other silver. I guess we'll take the Patriot silver. Round number two. Okay, we get a gold. Okay, give me an elite. These are going to be golds. I know that. Jared Goff. A kicker. That's actually pretty good. Give me an elite. Okay. So we'll take, we'll take the kicker and we'll take Trevor Simmons in this round. Round number three. We're here are the elites. 81. Lawrence Timmons. Not too bad. Number 285, Caleb Sturgis. That is a very good pull. If you guys don't know, kickers go for a ton. And for the last card in here, we do end up getting 81 Anthony Munoz, so nothing too good. This kicker, though, is actually very good. Let me see his kick power compared to Brandon McManus. 83 kick power. Wow, it actually has higher kick power than Brandon McManus. I'm not sure how much that card goes for, but I think he might go for like 100,000 coins or something insane. So here are the cards that we get out of this pack. So we got actually two kickers. We got ourselves a Randy Bullock with 68 kick power. Probably go for about 13k. Caleb Sturgis, though, might go for a hot 70k, 80k. Let's get into another pack here, see what we're going to get. See if we can pull a couple of elites. If we can pull a, an elite in the gold round, that'd be absolutely clutch. I don't think you can pull an elite in this first round, but we can pull some golds. Let's see if we get a gold in this round. And nope, we're just going to get all silvers. Okay, so let's go... Okay, so let's go with the most expensive silvers, which I believe to be those three. Round number two. Can we get an elite? We got a punter. Not too bad. I'll take that punter. Give me an elite. Give me an elite. Okay. So we get two of these guys, I'm going to select the punter and I guess the 77 overall chargers because he's the highest overall. Round number three, 82 Spencer Ware, not too bad, not too good. Second card, 85 Chris Baker, that's a decent elite right there. I think it goes for like 40,000 coins. And finally, 86 Larry Allen. Now I'm actually not too sure it goes for more, so let me look this up really quick on my head. Surprisingly enough, actually Chris Baker goes for more than Larry Allen, which I didn't expect to see right there. But we do get Chris Baker out of this one. Nothing too amazing, but Chris Baker, 50,000 coins. I will definitely take that. Also a punter. So far, these packs have been pretty good. Let's get into this. Two more packs. See if we can pull some elites out of these. Come on, EA. Give me an elite in the first round. I know it's supposed to be all silvers, but I want an elite. Show me what I can get. Okay, we get a goal right there. 71 for the 49ers and two golds actually we're going to take the two golds and do we get any expensive silvers i don't think we did i guess we'll just go with the cardinals guy because he's some funky hair round number two tim hightower actually just got released we also have geno smith gerard davis give me an elite give me an elite okay let's take jeremy lane and i guess the giants gold because those are pretty expensive round number oh Oh my god, that card's like 150,000 coins. Next person, 84 Matt Forte. I don't even think it matters who we get right here. 81 Steve Atwater. Obviously, we're going to take Demon Harrison here. I'm actually going to go check out his price because I'm very, very curious to see just how expensive he is. But we got, we got pretty good pack right there. I'm not going to two golds in these silvers. Jeremy Lane, Geno Smith, and Demon Harrison. 
a hundred and thirty thousand coins what a freaking pull right there no actually i may keep this demon harrison let me see what my defensive tackle is well, actually no i have chris baker who isn't as good as demon harrison but in terms of speed harrison is extremely slow with 48 and i know he has amazing block shit and would be great in my team but with 48 speed he probably can't even get to the damn running back even if he does get the block shit all right last legends fantasy pack ea these, these packs have been pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Damon Harrison and a kicker. That goes for a ton of coins. Now, I do want one last Elite EA. Give me something good. Give me a gold in this round. Can we get a kicker? Kickers always go for something. Give me something. Okay, what are you, I don't even know what other teams we have. Titans. I guess Titans go for a decent amount. And the Broncos. Round number two. Okay, Dwayne Harris. Still have not gotten an Elite in these rounds. I'm kind of surprised. Come on, give me the lead. Give me the lead. Ah, nothing. TJ Watt. I guess I'll take that. And we also get Todd Harris, I guess. Or Todd Davis. Last round. 82 Mike Wallace. Not too bad. Next card. And we're going to get an 84 Dak Prescott, the best quarterback in the NFL. Don't take me serious when I say that he's not the best quarterback in the NFL. But we do pull Dak Prescott. I know he's like 50,000 coins, so we'll definitely take that. And the last card is going to be an 81 Marshall Falk. So we're going to take Dak Prescott here compared to Big Ben and Matt Stafford, who I actually both have that are AT, unfortunately. But we definitely did a pretty decent job with these packs. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You know, we spent $60. I think we may have made our coins back. In terms of elite, we pulled four elites out of those four packs, which I wish would have been a little bit better. But Dak Prescott is currently going for 57,000 coins. Demon Harrison, 130k, which right there is about 200k. Chris Baker is going for 50,000 coins. Actually, 55,000 coins, because that guy actually kind of went under way too much. Caleb Sturgis is going for a hot, oh my god. 85,000 coins. 85,000? 85,000 coins. Absolutely ridiculous. But I guess we'll go check out the new legends on the auction block. Doesn't look like they're actually going to be up on the block yet. Probably won't be up for at least a couple more hours. They usually aren't up because they're not in packs limited time. But I do have some other stuff that I can show you guys. Now, we actually just got a free legend, Kellen Winslow, 75 overall tight end, but I haven't made a wide receiver. He's actually a high overall, so he's a 77. Now, make sure that he is in your lineup, because if he's in your lineup, you actually can get yourself a free pack. He doesn't have to start. I have him at the number six receiver because my tight ends I actually use all three of these guys, so I just threw him at the number six receiver. I'm going to show you guys this set. If you have him in your lineup and you guys are doing the objectives, then you will get a free pack. So you see right here, Kellen Winslow. 45 receiving touchdowns. Now you don't have to get them with Kellen Winslow. You just have to get them with him in, with him in your lineup. 171 yards in one game. 67. Oh, actually, you do have to get it with Winslow. Wow, that's a little bit hard. And three touchdowns. So that one's going to be pretty hard. But the receiving yards and touchdowns, you don't have to do with Winslow in your lineup. Now, I actually did these objectives for last week with this Rodney Harrison. So let's go ahead and open this pack, see what I'm going to get out of this. I'm not really sure what to expect. And I'm going to get a 83 overall Rodney Harrison. I'm not really too sure how expensive that is. But that's just an example of what you can get for doing those objectives. Pretty simple. And I guess it can kind of pay off if it's going for a little or something. I'm not really too sure. But now I can finally take that Rodney Harrison out of my lineup. Because that thing is pretty damn trash. And he's going for 9,000 coins. So, I mean, if you want to do those objectives and... You know, you could get something a little bit better. For me, unfortunately, I only pulled a card worth, you know, about 8,500 coins, which to me isn't worth it. Also, unfortunately, team leaders aren't out today, which I kind of expected them to do because of yesterday. They did drop those packs, which I really thought they would make those, and then drop the team leaders immediately after, because you could do those packs, and if you did, you know, say the Cowboys for, you know, all of those packs, you could earn a ton of Cowboys golds and also some Cowboys silvers to use in these sets, but I'm going to go ahead and open up my daily level cap and show you guys the progress that I'm making on this Ladanian Talent. We actually pull a gold out of there, which isn't too bad, and then we get four Tomlinson tokens and now I can go and upgrade my LT I believe to a 90 overall so if you guys want to see some gameplay with this 91 or just wait till I you know can get the 92 make sure to let me know because I'm definitely going to get some gameplay with this 92 LT once I do unlock him so I believe yeah I believe he's going to go oh no he's actually going to go to an 89 now but this 89 LT is probably going to be pretty good this 88 
is actually pretty damn solid. So I'll show you guys the stats right now. 89 overall, Ladanian Tomlinson compared to Bo Jackson. 87 speed, 90 agility, 89 excel, 88 carry, 87 bulk revision, and an 88 elusiveness. 85 juke move and a 73 truck now hopefully uh, hopefully once he gets to my 92 we'll have a higher juke move than bo jackson but besides that the card's looking pretty damn glitchy but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment i'll see you guys next time